Kumail Nanjiani sheds his funny man image for a starring role in the new series Welcome to Chippendales. It's a sordid and twisted tale of murder and greed behind the glitz and glamour of the famed dance review. Earlier, we sat down for a conversation. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, I want to talk about Welcome to Chippendales. You star as Steve Banerjee. Also, you're one of the EPs. But for those of us who may not be familiar with the dark, twisted saga, <laughs> give us an overview. Well, so most people know what Chippendales is. It's sort of the male dancing review, cuffs, collars, bow ties, not much else. But what people don't know is the guy who started it was this Indian immigrant. And then behind the scenes of Chippendales for the first 15 years, there's a lot of drama. People got murdered. Multiple people got murdered. They were setting fire to other strip clubs that were stealing that idea. So it's really this really wild and intense kind of true crime story that was happening behind sort of the glitz and glamour of the male dance review. And this is such a pivot for you from comedy. You're known as Dinesh in the HBO hit Silicon Valley. What made you want to pivot? Well, first, let's take a look at the clip and see you in action. Let's see it. Look, Steve, you No, you look! I am the boss! This is my club! And you are my employee! You are all my employees! Is that clear? Is that clear? Go! Wow, you made yourself quite clear. Yes, I think I did. <laughs> I think I did. You recently said in People Magazine that you had no interest in playing boring characters, that you were interested in a flawed character like Steve. Why? I have ever gotten a chance to play a character like this, to be able to really play someone who's got all these layers and all this darkness inside of him, you know, I knew it would be sort of an exciting challenge, because how do you play a bad guy while still making him in some ways relatable to the audience. How do you make his darkness feel like it's not just darkness? So I knew it, it would be such a challenging role to play. You see so much of his journey up until those homicidal moments. But at the same time, there's a scene that involves racism where you talk about, your character talks about feeling racism every day, but then subjecting a black dancer to a bit of racism by not featuring him in a calendar. Why is it important to tackle issues like that? I feel like when we see racism in sort of American pop culture, we usually only see it from white people. And so there's this almost this sense that only white people can be racist. Unfortunately, that's not true. I've experienced racism for, from people of all races. So I thought it was really interesting to explore racism from a completely new angle. You know, this is a guy who's been the victim of racism. And instead of that leading to more empathy for other people, he's turning around and being racist to other people. I, I found it absolutely fascinating. Now, your other projects, The Big Sick, nominated for an Oscar. But Big Sick wasn't just a love story. And one more thing. I'm moving to New York to pursue stand-up. But I am not leaving this family. It was really about complicated relationships and families and a little bit of undercurrent of, of race as well. Yeah, it was. You know, for me, I think it's really interesting to ask these questions. I don't know what the answer to these questions is, you know. I think it's just important for us to really look at it and sit in it. And I think The Big Sick, which is a comedy, and I think it's a very funny movie, uh, but it really is about culture clash, too, you know? It's about the things that get in the way when people are trying to connect and, and love each other. You really set the internet on fire with your body transformation. You said recently you, you didn't like to talk about it because it created so much agita. But what was it that was churned up by that discussion on the internet? Yeah. Because yeah. um, I've talked to other male actors who say there's a tremendous amount of scrutiny on men now, too, and you're feeling that. Yes, you know, suddenly you have this pressure to always look a certain kind of way. And I think, you know, when I put out, put out those pictures, I had not put thought into the fact that me putting out those pictures may be actually upholding certain ideals of what a male form should look like. Mm. Uh, ideals that I think are very unrealistic, in many ways unhealthy, you know, and my mind has changed, you know, a hundred different ways about it since then. I think the most important thing is to be comfortable with, with 
with yourself and how you look and try and be happy with who you are and what you do. I think that's by far the most important project we have in life. I am amazed that you immigrated to this country for college. Shout out to Grinnell, was it? Grinnell. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> Very right. well done. Um, but also, at this point, you've had so many accolades. Is stand up again back in your future? What's next for you? Um, I, I would love to do stand-up again. It's my favorite thing, you know? It's so fun. It's just me and the stage. You don't have to worry about studios giving you notes. You just completely control it. I don't think it'll be next year. I actually did a quick little show recently, and it suddenly, like, woke up that part of me again. I was like, this is so much fun. <laughs> so I think it's going to be a while, unfortunately. You are very much in demand, and so we're grateful for you to be here with us today. Well, thank you so much for having me. And Welcome to Chippendales is now streaming on Hulu, which is owned by Disney, ABC's parent company. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.